Good afternoon, my name is Lindsay Bowman and thank you for having me here today to tell you about the Gulf Breeze Elementary Save a Life program. First, a little bit about who I am. I'm a Gulf Breeze native who attended all three Gulf Breeze schools, dual enrolled at PJC and received my physical education teacher education at UWF. Throughout my bachelor's program, I completed all of my practicums at Gulf Breeze schools. And as perfect timing would have it, a job at Gulf Breeze Elementary School opened up the semester after I graduated. I am in my seventh year of teaching at Gulf Breeze Elementary and my second year of coaching at Gulf Breeze High School, the girls weightlifting team. Five years ago, I was given the opportunity to become the school site CPR, AED, and first aid instructor. For the past five years, we have been sitting at about 40% of our staff being certified. Last spring, I began developing curriculum and implementing an abbreviated lesson on CPR and choking safety maneuvers for all Gulf Breeze Elementary fourth and fifth grade students. Our school's goal is to have 100% of our staff and fourth and fifth graders trained in CPR, AED, first aid, and choking safety maneuvers. Currently, I am limited to borrowing mannequins from the Santa Rosa Emergency Management in Milton. Because they are the only training equipment providers in the area, there is a limit of how much equipment can be checked out at a time, and they are often booked solid for months in advance. We are asking for $3,061.51 from Gulf Breeze will do to purchase our own training equipment. This funding will be used to purchase 20 commercial grade mannequins, which include eight adult, four children, and eight infant sizes. All mannequins come equipped with equipment or come equipped with real-time lighting systems in the chest that gives students cues and immediate feedback on their effectiveness in their techniques. Two remote controlled AED trainers will, with various recorded situational prompts and a portable PA system will also be purchased. Owning our own training equipment will allow us to meet our goals of training 100% staff and 100% fourth and fifth grade students in these life-saving measures. Our vendor is on standby. Should we receive this grant, we will have our equipment by the end of January. I intend to focus on GBE staff for the first phase. I will be able to have all staff members trained and certified by May 2020. Beginning in the 2021-2022 school year, trainings will be held for a full week every quarter to focus on certifying and recertifying all staff members to keep us at 100%. With February being Heart Hero Month at Gulf Breeze Elementary School, the entire school will serve as a perfect platform in rolling out the age-appropriate CPR, first aid, and choking safety measures to our fourth and fifth grade students. As the younger grade levels are learning about taking care of their own hearts, our older students are learning how to help someone else in case their heart fails. Two fourth grade classes and two fifth grade classes will participate in this course at a time over the span of three PE classes. This course layout will re be repeated until all fourth and fifth grade classes have received the course. I estimate this total of four school weeks. In my absence or retirement, GBE will be fully supportive and fully comprehensive lesson binder will be prepared for the program's transition to my replacement. Over the course of the 10 years the mannequins are reported to last, I estimate that over 4,000 community members will leave my course with extensive knowledge of how to perform CPR, choking safety maneuvers, use an AED, and handle situations in need of basic first aid. In life, we can't choose when emergencies happen but we can make choices now that will allow us to be prepared for them. Thank you.